Hey everyone, welcome to another game design video. I already published uh, my video for Long Way Home, a game I was working on and submitting to the 18 card RPG contest that was hosted by Buttonshy Games. And today I got another one of those videos because Buttonshy Games just did another contest and this time it was a different topic and only nine cards. But um, yeah, I added a small design into that as well. So let me just first talk about the challenge quickly. So um, this is a design challenge um, that is called Ship of Theseus. So it's um, we need to make a game based on the Ship of Theseus, not the topic itself, the, not the actual ship, but the idea. Um, the idea is that um, it is supposed that the famous ship um, sailed by Theseus, the Greek hero, was kept in a harbor as a museum piece. But over time, the pieces, the, all the wooden parts began to rot. They had to be replaced by new ones. And after a long time, like a century or something like that, the entire ship was replaced with new parts. And the question is now if it's still the same object as the original ship. That's pretty much the idea. So it's, it's about replacing something that still has the same shape, the same form, so to speak, but still it is somehow different because it's not the exact same parts that are there, right? So that's pretty much the idea. And um, so my design process worked like this. Um, my very first prototype, you can see here, I just um, <laughs> put on some cards and the idea was that you have a ship in the middle that you can just spread out like that. And then you can, um, replace these parts with different colored parts. That was pretty much the idea I had. Um, and at the end, you were trying just to have a different colored ship. That somehow made sense, but the it wasn't very thematic and the goal was not very clear. So that's why I um, started introducing like icons on the ship parts later on. You see it like I did it with a pencil because it was just a rough, very rough idea. And I put different um, symbols here to see if I could work with that. And from that, um, the next prototype was created, which is, um, which I called Building the Ark. That is just the working title. I'm still working with other ideas like just the Ark or maybe the Flood or anything. I'm not quite sure yet, um, but I mean, this is just a very rough design so far. And you still have the ship in the middle that you could just build like that. And um, then you see that I replace these symbols with animals. So there are four types of animals you can build. And also some parts had some um, had some effects here. Um, the problem is I let a few people play test that, a few of my friends and I also play tested it. And at the end, these um, effects were just too negative. The game was just too luck based and it was too hard to win with the original win condition. So I changed that win condition and then it was too easy. So I didn't get the balancing right until I realized, yeah, it's because you don't have any mitigation here, right? Because the effects are all negative. So, um, and that led me to my next prototype. Let me just put all of that aside here. And this is now my newest prototype of building the arc that I would like to present to you now. Um, I changed that. Um, of course, that's a digital prototype. So you see, um, these are also double-sided now, these ships and um, also like the heads a little bit larger and we have different different abilities here effects these are actually positive now um so how this game works is as follows the story is that the flood is approaching fast and no one needs to save a pair of each animal species unfortunately the arc is in a very bad shape and it's your job to rebuild it while you're working on that with full commitment noah keeps putting animals on the ship although you still need time can you rebuild the Ark while helping Noah to repair it for its important journey? So that's pretty much the story behind it. And what you do is you um, build that ship here again in the middle. Let me just put it a little bit more center here, like this. Um, this is just the cover card. Um, you don't need that. I just like to have covers on my prototypes so I know what game it is. And it just looks a little bit nicer. And then we have these six cards that are over because that's supposed to be a nine card design. And what you do is you just shuffle these then you turn over a few cards like that and they shuffle it again. And then you just put it here, right? Like just put it to the side. And now you need to think about whether you want to play easy or normal mode. Easy mode means that you can use the effects at the end that are on the ship, but you don't have to use them. If you play normal mode, you have to use all the effects, which could in turn, they are positive, but if you don't use them right, they could be negative also. So um, what happens now is we take the bottom two cards from the deck here 
and put them in front of us. And now we can puzzle um, the ship together. We need to place both parts there and you see they have different shapes, right? This one here, for example, can only go here in the bottom front there. And this one, for example, can only go here. That's the only place it can go, right? Um, but we have um, such a middle part, for example. These middle parts can go here, but they can also go here. So we have a little bit more freedom there. Um, what we can also do is we need to play these cards the way they are oriented right now. But we can say that we want to turn over one of these two cards, only one. But if we turn it over, we can turn it back. Then we have to use that card, right? So let me just put that here, for example. And then we can also put that here because that means um, ignore one here, ignore one beaver when scoring. So that means that that beaver we can ignore at the end. So at the moment, we only have one monkey and one raccoon. I think we can, we can work with that. So our goal is to only have animal pairs on the ship and no single animal. So two raccoons would be fine, two pigs would be fine, four beavers would be fine too, because these are two beaver pairs, that's fine. But a single monkey, only a single monkey would already make us not win. All right, and then we have these two here. So let's see. Um, so ignore room one raccoon. That is cool because we do have a raccoon here. So let's put that like this. And here, ignore one pig. We don't have a pig yet. Um, but let's do that for now. We will need another beaver then. And then we have the last two cards. Um, and now we do the same thing. We just put them there. One more thing we can do is if we place a card on one car on or on another ship part that we already placed before that we can do that we can replace that that means the other card is removed from the game completely and we put the new card there right but i don't know yet if i would do that so let's see well actually you know what i will i will just um just add a few cards here because um let me just show you how that works. All right, so at some point you would be done. And um, this, for example, is now the ideal configuration because you actually replace the entire ship. But it's possible that at the end you will have a ship like this or just missing a few parts, that is fine. It's not necessary to build the entire ship. It's sometimes not even possible with the cards you are dealt, right? So, and what we do now is now we see, do we have um, entire pairs of animals? So um, first of all, we ignore one raccoon when scoring, so that raccoon doesn't count. We ignore one beaver when scoring, so one beaver doesn't count right um and we would do that for all the effects when we play on normal mode if you play in easy mode we can choose our effects right so we can see here um okay so we have two monkeys two beavers and two pigs that is fine the problem is one monkey and one raccoon but we do have here that effect treat one raccoon as another as any other animal so we can treat that raccoon as a monkey and then we would be fine we would have four monkeys two beavers and two pigs that would be fine. So in easy mode, we actually even would have won now. On normal mode, we wouldn't have won because we need to ignore one pig here and then uh, we need to ignore ignore one raccoon and also another beaver. So at the end, we would have like we would have a single um, a single pig, a single beaver, and we can't do anything with that, right? And also three monkeys. So we definitely wouldn't have won. So if you're able to have only pairs on the ship, you win. If you don't have that, then you take all the cards back because you didn't lose yet. You do the same thing. You shuffle these cards again. You turn over the top few cards, shuffle them again and put them here aside for the next round. And you turn over the front part of the ship. And now you have, you see that star here um, and you have that beaver here. And now you continue the game just like before. You draw two cards and you may turn one around, but not flip it back if you decide to do that. And then you build the entire ship again. And then you see, did you win or did you not win? If you won, great. If you did not win, then you take all the cards back again and you turn over the middle card. So you see, you have four chances to win the game because after round three, if you still didn't win, you can turn over the last card too. The last card even has an effect. Ignore one animal when scoring. You see that um, I just... The ship should be oriented this way. I kind of missed that, so it would look like this. And then that would be the last round. That would be round four. And if you still didn't win there, then you actually lose. And there is like a scoring table. So um, the game ends when one of the following events occur. Either you win by having only animal pairs on the ship at the end of round one, two, three, or four. 
right? That's what I explained. Um, but you lose the game if you can't finish the objective by the end of round four. So if you're done with round four and you still don't have only animal pairs, then you lose. And you have like a little table. You can look at, you win at the end of round one, two, three, or four, or not at all. And then how many points you receive. Um, and you also gain a, gain a rank. So if you don't win, you are dreamer. If you win at the end of round four, you are the construction apprentice. Then you are the architect, the ship engineer, or the master builder. And the main goal of the game, of course, is to receive these four points, the master builder on normal mode, right? To win that in the first round on normal mode. That would be the way to win the game. And that is pretty much building the arc in a nutshell. So um, I don't know what will come of, the, of my entry into the contest. I don't know how my game will be received, but I think it is a pretty functional and quite fun card, uh, game with only nine cards. Um, it does definitely work. Um, I think there are still a few things that can be made a little bit better. For example, I only, in my prototype, I only have these animal heads here, um, but you could draw the animals in full, right? And then have one beaver maybe gnawing at the, rail, uh, at the railing maybe, or have another beaver maybe hold a piece of wood, I don't know. Maybe have a raccoon go through a toolbox, another raccoon go through a garbage can. Or like a like a box with fish, I don't know, right? You could like really breathe a lot of life into that, and also the boat could be designed nicer. Like this boat could be like really um, run down and damaged and everything, and these parts would be much nicer. Maybe they have, would have a different, a little different shades of brown or whatever, right? To to indicate that these are different types of wood. So there are a lot of possibilities. Um, also about the victory condition, I like the victory condition a lot, but I think you could still balance the game a little bit better maybe. Maybe even have some other effects that you could put on the cards. Maybe have an effect on each ship part. Um, so there are still a lot of possibilities to work with that. Um, but that's that was my showcase of building the arc that I entered into the latest Buttonshy contest that just ended um, last Friday. Thank you very much for watching. I would really like it if you could tell me your <laughs> tell me your opinion in the comments. What do you think about this small design I've done? Um, I do like my long way home design a little bit more, but I think this one is quite efficient as well, and it does fit the theme of this replacing the ship of Theseus, replacing parts and everything quite well, just with that animal topic and almost all of my games that I'm currently prototyping have to do with nature and or animals. So yeah, it's just a topic I really, a theme I really like. All right, thank you very much for watching and that is all from my side. I will see you in the next video or even on my channel. All right, take care everyone and cheers.